In this video, we're going to show four different ways or techniques to address a common question, which is how to compare two lists or columns in Excel. But if you're new here in the channel, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so as not to miss out on our weekly content. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first technique here that we can use is using conditional formatting. And this is actually one of the quickest ways to compare two lists in Excel. So all you need to do is to select the values in both lists. If they are contiguous, you can just select them like that. And if they are not, then you can just select the values in one list and then press and hold control and select the values in the other list. And then you can go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules and click on duplicate values. And as you can notice, now the value values that are common or duplicated between the two lists are highlighted in this conditional formatting here and you can change the formatting to any of these choices or you can also create your own custom format as well. So if you press OK, you will now have the common values between the two lists highlighted. I'll press Ctrl and Z to undo that. And if you go to conditional formatting again, highlight cells, rules, duplicate values, you can also choose the unique option and the unique option will give you the values that are only present in each list. So the values highlighted in list number one are present only in list number one, and the values highlighted in list number two are only present in list number two and are not present in list number one. This is really one of the quickest ways to compare two lists or columns in Excel. Another way to test for matching values between two lists is using lookup functions such as the VLOOKUP function. So using the VLOOKUP function, we could look up values in the first list and we'll look them up in the second list here. And let's make sure to absolute the table array because we're going to drag the formula down and the column index number is going to be one and the range lookup is going to be an exact match. Close the brackets and press enter. And if we drag the formula down, you'll see here that matching values between the two lists. So values in list number one that are present in list number two, get the name here beside them, such as Olive Taylor, while values that are not matching. So for example, Alejandro Ramos does not exist in list number two, and we get a hash in a error beside it. So in this case, we could actually try to get more descriptive results by using the is and a function. So if we, Nest that inside the is and a function, close the brackets and press enter and drag the formula down. You'll see here that we get true and false values. So we get a true value if the value is not matching. And if it is a matching value, then we'll get false. And this is because the is and a function is testing for your formula yielding a hash and a error. So if it's yielding an error, then it's not matching. This is why it gets true. And this is why we get true. And if it is matching, we get a false. And in that case, we could put that inside an if function. So we'll be testing for that condition being true. And that means the existence of the error. So if the error exists, we would output not matching. And if it doesn't exist, if the test yields false, then it will be matching. Close the brackets and press enter. And then if we drag the formula down, you'll see here that we get the intended results. We could also apply conditional formatting using this is and a part of the formula. So if we copy it and then select our cells here in list number one, go to conditional formatting, new rule, and we'll use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then the formula is going to be equal to that is and a part here. And we'll be testing if this yields a true and we don't even need to write equals true. If we write equals true, that would still be correct, but we don't even need to do that because the default test is testing for your formula being true. So in this case, if it is true, we'll give it this yellow color here and click OK and OK again. And now the values that are not matching because of this formula is true, then the value is not matching. So the non matching values here are now being highlighted. So as you can see here, Samir Al Farsi does not exist in list number two, Alejandro Ramos does not and so on and so forth. If you'd like to flip the test and test for matching values instead of non matching, we'll just select our values here, go to conditional formatting, and you can either create a new rule or 
amend the current rule, so manage rules, edit rule, we'll edit it and test for that formula being equal to false, click OK and OK again, and now we get the matching values highlighted instead of the none matching values. All right, so this is how you can use lookup functions such as the VLOOKUP function to do matching between two lists. Another way to do the matching is using the filter function in Excel. And the filter function is a new function that's been introduced in Excel 2021 and Excel 365. And we can start that by using a count if. And so we can do a count if with the range being the values in list number two and the criteria being the values in list number one. And we can close the brackets and press enter. And as you can see here, because I have Office 365 and I have dynamic arrays, spilling happens and basically the results are spilled here across the cells. And you can see here that we get how many times the values in list number one were found in list number two. And you can see here that Sarah O'Connor, for example, has been found twice because it exists twice in list number two. And so using that result, we can do a filter function. So we can wrap that inside the filter function and we can filter list number one with the condition that this count if function is greater than zero because if the values in list number one are found in list number two, then we get a number that is greater than zero. We get how many times they were found and if they are not found, we get a zero. So we'll check for this count if being greater than zero close the brackets and press enter. And now we will get the matching values here from list number one that exist in list number two. And we can copy that formula and then make a small change to it, which is that we can check if this is equal to zero instead of being greater than zero to get the non matching values. So these names are in list number one and they do not exist in list number two. So this is another way to do matching between two lists, which is using the filter function. All right, so the last thing we're gonna talk about here is partial matching using wildcard characters in Excel. And wildcard characters are a special kind of characters that can replace any other character. So basically, if you do a view lookup and you would, for example, do a lookup on this value and then you concatenate onto that an asterisk and concatenating an asterisk after the value means, you know what, I wanna search for this value and then anything after it. So if you do that and then you give it the table array to be the second list and then the column index number to be one and the range lookup is gonna be an exact match, close the brackets and press enter. And if you drag the formula down, you will notice here that we will get some matches, although the values are not exactly the same. So for example, you have here Starlight Entertainment Group. The corresponding value is Starlight Entertainment Group Inc. And because we search for Starlight Entertainment Group and then anything after it, we got that match. But in reality, the data might come from two different sources having similar values, but values that are not exactly the same. And actually the slightest change in spelling, for example, so if we do Starlight Entertainment with a double T here, and press enter, you can see here that we get a hash and a value. So you need to be using this with caution because using just a wildcard character or doing wildcard character search is not gonna guarantee you 100% that you get the desired results. So you need to make sure to also do a manual check of the values after doing the wildcard character match. You might do the wildcard character match just to save some time, just to take a quick look at the similarities or matches, but it doesn't guarantee you 100% that you will get the matches that you want unless the values are exactly the same. So the ways that we looked at previously are assuming that the values are exactly the same, they are 100% matching, and so they are written in the same exact way. But wildcard character match is useful when you have values that might come from two different sources. So the way you write the values are inconsistent, although they are actually similar values according to the business. So for example, Summit Outdoor Gear 
is the same as Summit Outdoor Gear Co, for example. You could also do a wildcard character match with any value before the value as well. So you could do an asterisk before the value and then concatenate that onto the value. So an asterisk before and asterisk after means anything before the value or anything after the value should be a match for you. Press enter and if we drag the formula down, we'll get the same matches, but if there is anything before the value, so for example here, Lighthouse Shipping and Logistics here, if we have ABC, Lighthouse Shipping and Logistics, for example, there's still gonna be a match here. So different ways, as you can see, to do the matching and to help you compare the similarities between two lists. All right, guys, so this concludes our video today. So if you found the video helpful, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future videos and please make sure to follow us on social media you will find the links down below in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video